Okie dokie. Here we go. We got dinos. For anyone that cares. Oh, new mode too. Wow, a lot of black series here. Armor, moth, grief. Oh, what is this? Oh my god! What? What the F? Oh, Nikolai Volkov. I am like in shock right now. Tatanka, dude! Two of them! What in the world is going on right now? This is the luckiest score I've had in a very long time, like a week. <laughs> Take a look at that. That is insane. Yo, what's going on folks? Century Mad Collector here. Your Prince of Plastic has returned once again with another hunt video. And today folks, we have to make this quick. Shout out to my buddy, Andy the Airmont Assassin coming through with another hot tip, pause, another super hot lead on a massive, colossal, gigantic restock over at the Target in Spring Valley. There lies within that restock something I have mentioned to you guys. I've mentioned on this channel several times throughout the course of several videos over the course of the past several months. I believe several months, that might be hyperbole, it might actually be several months now, I don't know. At least two months. Um, something I've been looking for on the hunt for that uh, just hasn't popped up around here. And it appears to be over in Spring Valley along with a huge restock. And I'm not gonna tell you what that restock is and I'm not gonna tell you what that item is. Hopefully, in a few moments, I can just show you. Here we go, baby. Barreling through Target like a real jackass. Let's see. Oh man. Oh man. I see it. I see it. The NECA TMNT mother load. Good God almighty. Look at all of this. Rat King. Baxter. Another Rat King. Triceraton, Xerox, and Zork. Holy moly. And it goes pretty deep. Pause. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Where has all this been? Look at that. That's amazing. I'm definitely picking up. I'm speechless right now. Definitely picking up this guy. And I might pick up. Another Triceraton for army building, honestly. So, I'll most likely do that, but this is awesome. One of my favorite characters as a kid. Well, let's see what else we got. Oh man, this is a NECA restock, baby. Scout Pred, I've seen him before. That's on him. Yeah, there's Ahab somewhere in here. I'm gonna flip a shizzle. Uh, what else? Back to the future. Back to the future. Check some tires. Holy crap, they have Victor Crowley too. I've never seen this in person. Awesome. This is insane right now. Caught this on a fresh restock. Shout out to Andy, man. The Airmon Assassin coming through in the clutch once again. These are all scout boats. Yeah. Plus, oop. Plus, what else we got? This guy up there. Oh, Peter Buteggi over there. Let's see. Jungle Hunter. Awesome. Creep Show. Wow, this is stocked. We got King Kong down there. Fat. Dune. Matt Mofo. Noise in the house. Some aliens. Rhino alien. First time I'm seeing this in person, too. Shout out to Dark Blaze. I think he saw this, right? Didn't he? One of his recent toy hunts. Make sure you go sub up to him. Wow. All right. Um, some pops. Good old Colonel. Medium sized dune. 
And I think that's going to be it for NECA, but holy moly, good God. I will see you guys in the main toy aisle. Here we go, main toy aisle. We got some DC. Not much. Haven't seen Azrael in a while. Got a Batmobile. We've got blasting, blaring copyrighted music. And switching over into some Transformers, Shockwave. Mega One Step Bumblebee. No clue. More Transformers. Grimlock is pretty cool. Peggy's of the Year with the Peggy One combo. Maximum Slime to Venom. Gamer Rare stuff. Flip around. Got a Roboto. Looks like there's some sort of restock on the new wave. With some Battle Cats. What else? Fender Flex. Don't see any legends. Well, there's one legend. Thanos. And wrestling, not much. Just a bunch of basics. Drew McIntyre. Don't see any hair. Ring card stuff. Restock there. And the Wrecking Cage. And no Black Series, as you guys can see. None whatsoever. Of micros, and I think that's gonna do it, folks. But uh, we're in good shape. Yo, what's up, people? Welcome to day two. Shout out once again to Andy. The air, why does it look like I'm wearing a bra? I'm wearing a tank top, I'm trying to go to the gym. Anyway, lost my train of thought. Shout out to Andy, the Airmont assassin, for once again giving us a super awesome lead on all of those turtles, and we will get uh, into greater detail on that find today at Coffee Talk. Yes, that's right, folks. Coffee Talk. We are heading to Norwalk, Connecticut to visit the two Walmarts that we have all come to know and love uh, to see what they got going on over there. And on the way home, most likely we will be uh, hitting Target in White Plains. I'm hoping to see some of those new legends. I really want DiBiase. Uh, still haven't seen uh, Series 82. Um, Davy Boy, we did scoop uh, the King not too long ago, a few hunts ago. Um, so there's plenty, always plenty to, to look out for along with all the other things that we're always looking for. So with that said, I will see you guys in Norwalk 650 Maine coming right up. All right, folks, here we go. This should be interesting. I hope it's going to be interesting because those NECA TMNT two packs have been hitting turtles, have been hitting Walmarts and I don't see them. <laughs> This looks pretty unchanged. The Tuny Terrors, Warhammer 40K still sitting there. My Hero Stain, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alien, Gremlins, Leatherface, No Migo. And that's unfortunate. Down Waldo, there he is folks. And I think that is gonna do it for the next section at the Anticlimactic. Let's go hit the main toy aisle. Hopefully we find something there. Here we go. We still have the WrestleMania end cap. Let's see what's left. Same stuff from <laughs> a few weeks ago. Some Kofi's, some Taker 2.0's, Shinsuke, not much, not, too much here, but very cool display. And we've got, we've got malls. We also have no WWE Elite figures whatsoever. Some belts and some rings. Some Raw 10s as always. Something near and dear to my heart. The J Toys diecast D&D. Flip around into nothingness. We're used to seeing that in this spot on this channel. Uh, we're just waiting for a public service announcement from uh, the good folks here at Walmart. We haven't hit, got hit with that yet. Should be coming any minute now. We got Peggy's. I can't believe these are Peggy's. There we go, right on time. Could not have called that <laughs> any better than I did. Game reverse crap. We've got Titan Hero series. 
four pack. Oh my, look at this. Peter B. Peggy, AKA Peter B. Plentiful. Look at Peter B. Plentiful all over the place. Frogman, Prowler, no one's touching that wave now. That's out of the hand ninjas. Iron Man, little flip ski, Fortnite. What else we got? We got the uh, four pack over here. It's pretty cool. Slushy soldier. Let's check this. Transformers, you guys. Nothing that I collect here. It's pretty cool. Optimus Prime. I used to love Transformers as a kid. I just don't collect them as an adult. This has been here, I think, for a month. Archive. What we got here? Anything good? Green Lantern. First time seeing that. It's pretty cool. Not much else at all. Take a look. That's Star Wars. Mall down there. Boba over there. And Mo to Peggy's the Triumvirate. Battle Cat. E Man. Skeletor. Watch him like four or five years. These two will be worth money. That's pretty cool. Flocked, Panther. Very cool. And that's gonna wrap it up for 650, folks. Hopefully, 680 is a little better. Here we go. Not off to a bright start here with uh, entering with a blank wall in this thing. What is this? I have no idea what that is. The rest of it is empty, flip around. Got nothing on this shelf. This is it for wrestling. Cena Norton 2 pack. Uh, some raw tens, as we are always used to seeing around here. Uh, kind of classics. Got some Joe tanks. Got a bunch of this tanks down here, over here. It's something. Um, not much else. Lonely Frogman. Uh, Titan series. This is bad news so far. Leonard Predator. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we can find a diamond in the rough here. Halo, Fortnite. What's this? Dinobot. First time seeing this. This is cool. I think this is new. Let me know in the comments. But we got a Dinobot there. An Inferno. New. I have no problem finding Transformers. So I don't collect them. That's probably why. And then you see Masters. This Seth Rollins has been here for at least five weeks. Which was Jake the Snake and Mr. T. No DC whatsoever. We got this little end cap. Oh, WrestleMania end cap. Cool. Theme basic. It's nice. Anything else interesting in here? Not really. You got anything over here? Nope. Oh, oh, over there. Sorry. More basics. I think that's it. My good God almighty, he's flapping his gums. The rattlesnake is here. The rattlesnake is here. The rattlesnake is here. Bam. Oh, it's just so good every time. Well, these stores were a bust. Uh, we walked away from Norwalk with this, with a donut delight with the straw that's too small. We'll make it work. We always do. There's really not much to talk about as far as today goes. Uh, this trip, it's always fun to come here to Norwalk. It's always fun to get the coffee. It's always fun to walk around these stores. However, there was not much to look at at all. Didn't catch anything on a restock. Looks like we haven't had anything stocked at these two stores since I found stuff uh, whenever that was, a week or two ago. They still have the old WrestleMania end cap up where I found Shawn Michaels, and I hit that the second that was put up. That thing was case fresh when I found it a few weeks ago. Still hanging around, and uh, not much going on. However, there's a ton of stuff to talk about regarding that first target in Spring Valley. Shout out to my buddy Andy the Airmont Assassin. Um, that is 
exactly a shining example. That target is a shining example of what is wrong with the distribution here uh, these days in 2021, you know, spilling over into 2021 from 2020. Um, that stuff did not just come in, folks. That stuff did not just come in. That stuff has been sitting in the back. I also have on good account from a, a good buddy of mine, collector in the area, um, that stuff has been sitting in the back. And it's just been a matter of time until they release the Kraken on the NECA section. But, uh, I mean, you have multiple, well, how many, at three waves worth of NECA TMNT at least sitting there, maybe four. Um, just crazy, crazy stuff. People were finding a lot of this stuff three, four months ago, at least. So finally seeing the Rock 2-pack hit that place. We found it elsewhere. Shout out to Ken Austria. Um, but And same thing with everything else. We've, we, we pieced it together. Really awesome local fellow collectors uh, have given me awesome leads on NECA TMNT. So we were able to get those figures uh, when we started to see them. But I mean, just how, it's just, it was, I've never seen that much NECA TMNT all in one spot. All sorts of different waves like that. The amount of waves, I just all at once was, uh, it was very cool to see, very overwhelming, but it's also pretty effed up. Um, I think the the only other time that, I, that I've seen NECA TMNT like that was at uh, Stanford, Connecticut, over the summer. Um, they had Casey Jones, uh, they had the Casey 2-pack, Casey and Raph, and uh, Leatherhead and Slash. Those were on the pegs at the same time. That was pretty unheard of. And now we see this. So hope everyone got what they needed uh, in the area. I hope everyone is getting what they need in uh, all over the place, all over the country, outside of the country, all over the world. I hope everyone is finding what they need to find. It's tough out there for sure. On a very random note, uh, I'm about to pre-order, not pre-order, I'm about to order a statue. Shout out to Todd from Spec Fiction. He always finds those rare pieces out of production, mint sealed in box, guts, berserker, anime guys, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm not a huge anime fan, but I love berserk and uh, it mixes two of my favorite things, dark sci-fi fantasy and horror. And uh, I just pre-ordered a prime one guts piece. Uh, and I've, I really wanted this uh, berserker armor guts piece that, uh, Spec Fiction just happens to have. So I'm going to go go check them out if you guys are into statues. I'd love to see another Zod in human form. Um, Prime One just absolutely... I think that's Prime One's best line, honestly, statue line, for all you statue folks out there. Anyway, that's just on the brain, so... And that's what Coffee Talk is. Whatever's on the brain. Or in this car to show you guys. And all I have to show you guys is this. <laughs> see? See? That's it. Um, and that is it, folks. I think that's going to wrap this up. Uh, I think for the rest of this hunt, um, as far as the rest of this hunt goes, I think today we're done. Um, I am going to check up on one or two more targets. I really would like to find some of those new WWE Elite uh, Legends, um, DiBiase, Tatanka. I'd love to find them. Davey Boy from Series 82. I think I've mentioned that already, uh, this video. And um, so we're going to hit targets for sure. And I think we will hit the Walmart in Mohegan to check up on that NECA section and see if we can find some Migos. Haven't found those either. It's just so weird, the stuff that I can't find. Um, that seems common everywhere else but the three Walmarts here. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Not much to see today, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed to Coffee Talk. I know I always do, and I will see you at the next store. Yo, what's going on, people? It is day three of this hunt and the final day of this hunt. It is Saturday morning. Shout out to my buddy once again, Andy, the Airmon Assassin. If you haven't gone ahead and followed him, his Instagram is in the description of this video below. Go check him out. He posted something at 7.30 in the morning today of the pegs filled with AEW figures at the Walmart over in Suffren in Airmont that we frequent. Uh, that was at 7.30 in the morning. About an hour or so later, one of my other buddies who swung by to go check it out uh, said they were all gone except for the Bucks. And I love the Young Bucks, but I don't collect AEW. And I was going to initially go over there to film to see AEW on the pegs and maybe catch uh, Walmart on a restock. Um, 
but it sounds like there's just Young Bucks and nothing else. And you guys just saw two empty Walmarts, so we are going to avoid Walmart today, and we are going to head to Target in White Plains and Target in Stamford, Connecticut, a Target we haven't been to in a while. I'd love to grab some of those new WWE Elites uh, Legends, Series 9. Really need that DiBiase. He's at the top of my list. Not even just with wrestling, just in general. I want that figure. Chase or not, I definitely I would love the Chase, but I'd take either one. Tatanka, I still need Davey Boy from Series 82. Uh, so we have some wrestling figures we're looking for, and hopefully maybe we can catch some restocks on, uh, or not restocks, but new stock of new waves uh, for lines that we are collecting Motu Origins. Black Series, get something super duper early. It's been done before on this channel, so we'll see. But uh, I haven't been to Stanford uh, Target in a while, so I really want to check that out. And White Plains has had some fire lately, so... We are going to check those two targets out, and that will be it for this hunt. So without further ado, I will see you guys at Target. White Plains Target. Peg Warmer Hall of Fame. Beyblade in the house. As it always is. This is the equivalent to the Yankees Hall of Heroes, except off. Got a Series 82. Once we flipped around, Morrison. Don't need him. Some Shinsuke's, some 81's. Paul Peggy. I don't know that I've seen this, actually. This two pack, Cena and uh, Orton. Some basics. Some lonely, lonely Jar Jars. Grief Karga. All sorts of Grief Karga. We got a China here. Don't need it, but first time seeing this. It's cool. Oh, Mission Fleet, Cara Dune. Got a bunch of them. Anyone needing that Cara Dune, here she is, Target by Plane, some other Mission Fleet stuff. Masters Battle Cat. This is Masters Peg Warmers, I just, it'll always amaze me. We've got uh, Prince Adam on sled right there. Flip back around. We've got one retro three and three quarter. Marvel Legends, Peg Warmers of the Year, Peter B. Plentiful, Miles. Got some Transformers here. We also have some pumpkin wrappers still hanging out. And DC, there's really not much going on here. Got a Bane Wave, Peace, some Omegas, and that's it. Got some dinos. Let's uh, go check NECA. So this is also something interesting to look out for. Another random end cap of gold here in uh, Target White Plains. The main toy aisle is right there where we just came from. Dinos. We flipped around and I noticed we've got the ring card basics. And now they've got this. So got to keep an eye out here for some new wrestling stuff that comes in. Alexa Bliss from Series 82. I guess Series 82 is here. Damn it. China. Edge with the weird head. Another China. So, definitely gonna keep an eye out for that. It's in the Hot Wheels section, so that is something to keep an eye on for sure. Alrighty, approaching the Naka section here. Some horror restock, I guess. Ghostface, it's cool. We have that. Some Pennywise. Drop in chisel, connect and create, connect and leave on the pegs, on the shelves. Some Toonie Terrors, we've seen all sorts of Toonie Terrors this hunt. Toonie Terrors, Toonie Terrors. Can't speak today. What is this back here, Quill? Sure is. Leave them there. Got uh, Lady Dune. Medium sized dune, but no fat dune. Bummer. I'm sorry, Pred. Gremlins, this is cool, but I don't collect them. And DC Peggies. And some Twinkies, which I could go for right now with coffee. I'm gonna pick up some Donut Delight soon, so maybe I'll pick up some Twinkies as well. Richard Simmons. 
and we are going to leave it off on that note, folks. When in doubt, Richard Simmons. Okie dokie, here we go. We've got dinos, for anyone that cares. Is this new? That might be new, I, I don't know that I've seen that. Uh, Toy Story. Oh, new Motu. New-ish. Roboto, Zodak, that's cool. I haven't really seen him too much. And Battle Cat and Prince Adam. Would have loved to have seen that uh, <laughs> a few months ago. Wow, a lot of Black Series here. Home with Jar Jar. Armor, Moth, Grief, Apollo Creed, Queel. Oh, what is this hanging around? Oh, gotta pick that up. New Finn Valor, Series 82. Oh my god! <laughs> what? No way. No way. What the F? And Davy Boy. Who we have up here? Morrison, who cares? Who cares? Oh, Nikolai Volkov. Holy shit. I am like in shock right now. Taker. Tatanka, dude. Two of them. What? in the world is going on right now. This is the luckiest score I've had in a very long time, like a week. What the F, man. What in the world. This is incredible. And you got Jerry up already half in. And Davey. Take a look at that. That is insane. I'm taking all of them except for Jerry, don't need him. I'm taking all of these guys. I don't know about Nikolai Volkov, but man, this is insane. Insane. I'm so glad I came here. Take a look at this. We flip around the corner from the main toy aisle and we have a little mini WrestleMania stand with Mr. Sexy Boy. Unreal. We already have him. Got some Chinas. Some old Goldberg, another Shawn Michaels. Another Shawn Michaels. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is WrestleMania abound. Totally insane. Alrighty folks, back home here in Boxville once again. What a start and what a finish to this hunt man i just don't have words for especially the end of this hunt i have no words for that i mean talk about calling your shot and finding exactly what you want uh and then some unbelievable so why don't we just jump right into this uh we are going to start with turtles how we started the hunt um have not seen this up until uh this hunt here it is, very nice. One of my favorite characters uh, in the cartoon, one of my favorite original Playmates Turtles, Rat King with Vernon. I will be displaying Vernon with his rat head for sure. There's the back. One more look. Got some, a lot lighter weight this thing is. Doesn't have much weight to it. It's got some uh, airiness to it. And we also picked up Another Triceraton 2-pack for army building. Definitely feel like I got the one with the best paint apps because I'm crazy and I look through all of this stuff with a jeweler's eye. And uh, I'm very happy with those turtles pickups. Thank you again, Andy, for the hot lead. As usual, hot tip pause. Um, always appreciated, my man. Thank you. Okay, now, the last stop on this trip, the last stop on this hunt, wound up being pretty awesome. Not only did we find the chase we were looking for, and we'll get into that at the end, we found the entire Series 9 Legends wave. So why don't we start with Nikolai Volkov. I did pick him up. I'm a sucker for the retro guys, for the golden era, for the 90s guys, Attitude Era. Um, we did pick him up. Nice throwback piece. I might use this as trade bait. I don't know. 
but we did grab him. Looks good. Uh, we also, we're gonna put this right now. Table's still full with uh, stuff from a live stream I was on recently. Shout out to the Spine Ticks. Um, next, what should we look at next? We are gonna look at Taker, who looks fantastic. I have the Decade Domination version of him and uh, that's also awesome and this is fully sculpted with the exception of the tie this is an old school taker I definitely need look at that wave folks that is some wave right there straight fire really really nice figure next up we have if I can get this bag freaking open next up we have Another guy I've been looking for, just recently released, Davy Boy, really nice figure. Would love to see the Heart Foundation re-released as well. Not much going on in the back here, rest in peace, Davy. This figure definitely does you justice. I don't know what Mattel is doing these days, but these head scans are, the head sculpts are awesome. They're really, really good. Much better than I feel like they have been in previous uh, waves and years. So, and narrowing it down now to the last two, one of the most highly anticipated releases, recent releases, Tatanka. Take a look, fellas and ladies. Very nice, there's the back. One more look, Ski. Really worth picking up. If you guys are into those 90s wrestlers like I am, this wave has been, I mean, Tatanka uh, and Taker, and now, not only did we find, this is, I like, I, like I mentioned right before we went to the store, this next figure, not only did, not only was he at the top of my wrestling list, wrestling picks of figures to get, he was at the top of my figure list in general out of everything right now, and not only did we find him, and the crazy thing was, he wasn't just, he wasn't on the pegs, he was just laying on top of a pile of crap on a shelf. We found the Chase version laying on top of a pile of crap on a shelf. Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I think he was my first, he might have been my first, it was either him or Mach, I think, my first wrestling buddy, wrestle buddy. Got him over Warrior, and Warrior's, Ultimate Warrior was, uh, as a kid, my favorite wrestler. As a little, little kid, then it was Austin. So I got into my teen years. But this guy was right up there, man. I've always loved the Million Dollar Man. And this is this figure is fantastic. Both head sculpts are fantastic. I really like them a lot. You got the Million Dollar Belt. I This is one figure that I actually want. And for me, it warrants getting both the Chase and the regular. I want the black suit. And I hope we see, uh, I hope we see a green suit released or re-released. Excellent. The chase just laying on a shelf on top of a pile of crap. How does that happen? That Does that mean someone was there, picked it up and left it there? Or an employee just didn't want to put it on a shelf? I, I put it on a peg? I don't know. I don't get it. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. I mean, this was just crazy to find where I found it. And uh, that is it, folks. That is going to wrap it up for this hunt. That is going to wrap it up for this haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video and for taking the time to check out this channel. It is greatly appreciated. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. It helps the channel immensely. And I will catch you on the next hunt. Peace.